Two beer tech 220s in it. It's uh, Vector Thrust. It's um, loaded up with MKS servos. It's plug and play. So right. it's made in the factory and finished in the factory. The only thing I did was put the turbines in. Oh, quite. And the, the paint finish, everything's done. Yeah, you just everything's done. Put the yeah, turbines yeah. All in. I did was add um, the decals and the pilots. Uh, the decals were from uh, Flightline decals. Um, and the uh, pilots were from Wilson Taylor made pilots. Yep. Um, and it's powered by a core radio. Powerbox Royal. Um, How many flights you had? I've had 12 flights on it now. All oh, right. Yeah. This will be the first time I've filmed it. I've seen it before. I'm still in the honeymoon period with it. Honeymoon. So, yeah. And the vector yeah. thrust on the rear. You say you've not used that yet? Or you have? Uh, no, I've, I've started slowing it down. Just getting used to it. I'm not com completely happy with the way they are at the moment. I want to spend a bit of time just making sure they don't catch. Because when the, the thrust is on them, they catch on time. So, so it's got to be safe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've got to make sure it's safe. But at the moment, I'm not, I'm not happy. But, what sort of price does this go for? Just a bare kit um, without turbines and radio? Yep. Won't get much change out of about £20,000. What, just the kit or everything um, all up? If you buy a kit, I think the kit comes in at around about, um, around about £10,000. Right, right. Probably about £30,000, £40,000. So you're looking um, around twenty grand for this model ready to go? Yeah. Beautiful looking plane. The canards on the front, they look like they work? No, 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 they, they're um, on a, like a model car, uh, shock absorber, and they just follow the winds. So wherever the wind goes, they just go, they're like, they're like wind vanes. Yeah, there's no authority over them at all. But they help, they're, they're part of the stability of the aircraft, or they do yeah, nothing? Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah, they're just there for show, really. They, they, I, I, whether they help or not, I don't know, but they oh, right. don't do anything functioning. Right, they just, right. Wherever you point it, they just sort of happily just follow the, the wind flow. Yeah. It's an awesome looking plane. What's your weight? Do you know, Steve? Uh, 44 kilos fully loaded, fuel, um, 33 um, without. Carries uh, around about, I think I've put in around about 12 litres of fuel in it. 12 litres of fuel. Now, how long do you get flying time? Um, I'm comfortably doing about 8 minutes on it. 8 and, minutes. Um, yeah, I reckon I can probably get about 10 minutes the way I'm flying it at the moment. So, I suppose once the vector thrust is in it, you're using more power, that yeah, time will yeah, go down. Yeah, the fuel away, yeah, yeah. at the moment I'm not using that, I'm hardly using the throttle at all. Just the most time I use the throttle is on, the, on reversals and up climbs and stuff like that. Lovely, thanks for the info, Steve, right, thanks, appreciate thanks, that. Thanks, Pete, have a nice day. There's an extra level of uh, comfort, perhaps, and security for little Nathan, his dad, Andy's there. Uh, he is, obviously, because of his age. I think he's on the bunny box, but Andy's not doing
better downhill. Yeah, easier. Yeah. Nice flight, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Nice legs and all. <laughs>